Today I will demonstrate the application of a semi-rigid thumb spanker using Benicast Flex. Using the 5cm stockinette, cut a small hole for the thumb approximately 7cm from the end and place it directly onto the limb with the thumb through the hole. Then repeat this process with the second piece of stockinette. Ensure this is wrinkle free. Now take the 2.5cm stockinette and cut along one side, approximately 5cm. Apply to the thumb with the cup fitted into the web space and the longer piece fitting over the MCP joint of the thumb. Now apply fleecy web for additional protection. Cut the fleecy web so it is narrower in the centre and place this over the web space. The MCP joint and ulnar styloid are also an area to consider if the splint is extended over the wrist. Apply your gloves and using Benicast Flex 7.5cm make a two layer slab. Measure from the centre of the palm around the thumb to the centre of the hand on the dorsal aspect. Fold this to create a two layer slab and then make a two centimetre cut in the centre of the slab. Now dip into room temperature water with a gentle squeeze to remove any excess moisture. This material can be used dry and over wrapped with a wet bandage to provide more working time. Position the edge of the slab on the palmer aspect of the hand with the cut in the web space. Then continue it around the thumb, across the dorsal aspect and around onto the palm. Now cut the casting material from the base of the thinner eminence diagonally across to the web space leaving approximately one centimetre to fit through the web space. This will ensure a custom fit. Repeat this process once more cutting the material to fit into the web space. And then continue across the dorsum of the hand. And once more directly around the thumb. Capturing all ends in. A small cut may be required dependent on the size of the thumb. Now complete the cast by wrapping around the wrist twice more. If applying adhesive hook and loop, it is advised to apply it at this stage and wrap with a wet bandage to secure the adhesive onto the polyurethane resin. It can be applied at the end, but please ensure the cast has dried out thoroughly first. Mould the cast and allow it to reach the initial set. This process could take between 4 and 7 minutes, dependent on the dip technique. Cut the cast along the medial border using bandage scissors and remove from the limb. Trim the cast to the extent required. And I have chosen not to edge the cast today. However, elasticated strapping or fleecy edging can be used if required. Apply two pieces of adhesive hook and reapply the cast to the limb. And then secure this with non-adhesive loop. The cast should fit secure, it should allow full function of the joints that are not held within the cast and be comfortable for the patient.